it's Sina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to part four of four wallets and wristlets. These are all medium to large, not counting the card cases, zip IDs, coin purses, all those things are separate. But this is sort of a random assortment of different mid to large size wallets that I have in my collection, so I thought I'd share them with you. The first one is an elderberry. It is the double diamond stitching. I sadly don't know what this is called. I actually just recently got this. I um, can't remember if it was like eBay or Amazon or Zulily. I forget. I think it was Zulily, but it didn't have the correct name listed anyways, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So anyhow, I say this is a medium size push lock wallet. It has that entry with this tab. When you open it up, you have six card slots on this side, four on this side, including the clear ID with the easy access window. Then you have two big slips behind it, one there and one behind, and that nice pop of color with the moon blooms inside. Um, and that's it for that pouch. And then on the end, interesting, there's only wallet I've seen like this, and the coin slot is on the end. There's a silicone gel in there, but nothing else. And then on the front, there's a, a nice slip. So it's not big enough to fit any current phones. I suppose it's possible like the older, like iPhone 4 and smaller would fit up there, but you could put some chapstick or keys or something else in there if you just wanted to carry just a little wallet. But it is not a wristlet, it doesn't have a strap, just a nice little medium-sized wallet and perfect color. So that is that. Next up, Let's talk leather, because I like the leather. I especially like the Sycamore quilted leather. So in the Ultimate Wristlet video, there was a Sycamore quilted leather Ultimate Wristlet. This is kind of the rest of my Sycamore wallets, if you will. This first one is the Riley wallet. It has a lot of card slots, just totally different layout than any others. Sorry, that's upside down. So inside is like a rosewood pattern. You've got five card slots here. Wait, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. And then five on the other side. So there's 10 slots just on that end. You've got two more, three more here. You've got the clear ID window with the easy access slide. You've got a big slide or slip behind it, big slip behind that. And you also have a zip slip. So that one is full length of the bag. What is this? Leather care. Variations in color and texture are normal characteristics of genuine leather. Store in a cool, dry, dark environment. Clean gently with soft, damp, white cloth. Here, Bradley. So instructions. Bad lighting. But anyway, I'll leave that in there. And zip it back up. The leather items, as I mentioned in the other video, in case you didn't watch it, they do all come with their own dust bag. So this one came with a bag like that. And I'm just gonna put this little cardboard back in here. So this all folds up nicely back into itself. It does have two snaps. So when you bulk it out, I guess you have that extra space already built in. Leather, when you break it in, wears very nicely and has an expansion capability that the cotton doesn't quite have, so there's that, although once you stretch it, it's stretched. Um, this does also have a big slip on the outside and a coin slot as well. So the Riley is a great, very versatile wallet, very reasonably sized, but can hold everything and keep everything very well organized. And I have, I think, maybe just this one, actually, of the Riley's. All right, so that's in Sycamore Black. The next one is, I think it's called a Sophia wristlet. It's a great little size. I do not think my phone fits, and if it does, it's a tight fit, but let's see. Ah, it does fit. I can't remember these things. There's too many wallets to keep track of. Perfectly, actually, very nice. It has a zippered front pocket, and ooh, it's got those awful metal zippers though. And the back pocket, the main pouch, has three card slots on the back here and none on the front. But again, fits the phone really nicely there, although it takes up most of your space. But great little elegant wristlet to carry out and about. And the strap is connected to the zipper. No problems with that. 
The next one in the Sycamore Black is the Audrey wallet. It has a zipper on the back, big open, and then it's all the stuff inside. So big slip, two main compartments with another zipper spot in the middle, and then two card slots on each side, so four slots, and then a big slip in the back with that pretty rosewood interior. So consistent throughout the black Sycamore leather, but great wallet, great mid-size to large. And lastly, this is not a wallet per se, but it's a card case, and this is also Sycamore. It has a slip, it's quilted all the way in the back as well. Inside, you've got three card slots on each side. So it's just where I would carry, I bought this to carry like all your extra cards that don't fit in a wallet, or even just a quick grab and go little wristlet, or use it for whatever. It's a great little thing. So, like I said, all of those come with a dust bag. Very nice and easy to store them and keep them clean and protected all together. The next two are the same as we just saw, except it's black leather. I don't know if you call it gallatin or whatever, but different inside. It's a nice, pretty patterned cotton, three slots on each side. And the other one is this, oh, Mallory. This might be called Mallory anyway. It's the purpley pink color. I don't even know the name of it. And inside has a vibrant, sort of an Aztec looking pattern, Southwest style. And I do have the tote in this leather as well, but otherwise nothing. So that's those card cases. And then this one is also a card case. This is a faux leather. I don't actually know what this is called. I think it's just a card case but it has a slip on the outside and oh, actually this is leather this isn't faux leather um anyway it has a slip right in the back a big slip and then a zipper pocket it's quite large so can hold a lot of coins has a pretty interior cotton pattern yeah this is totally this is leather i don't remember what this is called i think it's just another card case or a snap zip uh, sorry don't know but i don't think you can get it now anyways Fun little thing, which I've yet to use, but I think I will put it in the to be used pile. All right, one more leather item. This is a zip around card case or the zip around wristlet. It comes in, I have it in two different sizes, but it's nice leather. It's got that same interior pattern we saw on the card case that we just looked at. It's got two slips on each side for cards and then a big slip behind that. So three on each side, two card slots and a big slip, two main compartments, and then the coins in the middle. So again, you could use this to store your excess cards or um, just use it as a no kidding little wristlet. Again, phone, I keep one in my pocket. Phone will not fit in here, not in this one, but stay tuned because I have the same thing, oops, I have the same thing in different one so I have three in cotton I have the midnight paisley which has a really nice trim pattern on it and the wristlet strap is actually not connected to the zipper like it was on the other one but you open it up and inside is exactly the same two card slips big slip two compartments with the zipper in the middle so there's that size then I have the same thing but in elderberry the double diamond and this one has the pops of color, same config. Then black and coordinating pop to trim. So all of those are the same. And the zipper on wristlets. This one is also called that. So we have mini concerto and concerto. They're just a slightly bigger size. So if you can see like that. So let's look really quick and see if the phone will fit in the black and purple. And no, it does not. So that's a no, but guess what? It also doesn't fit in this one. And the reason being, because even though the thing looks that much bigger, look at the spacing on the side. The zipper isn't all the way on the edge of it. So you kind of have this dead space around the outside. So in actuality, this is the same size as the smaller one, even though it looks significantly bigger. So when you look at it, that's just your excess dead space on the outside. So 
I never noticed that before until today when I was looking at things. But the inside configuration is quite different. So you have three card slots on this side, then a big space, a little divider space in the middle, but no zipper on it, big space, zipper pocket on the back edge, and then a slip behind that. So different configuration, totally usable. Again, it's gonna be a, not a full wallet kind of thing, but because there is a little bit extra space in there and it has extra give to it, I think that you could put like a chapstick or a smaller phone perhaps, but the 6S Plus is not gonna fit inside there. Um, also, you notice it's just plain black nylon. The mini concerto and the concerto, this one actually has an interior on it with the mini concerto. And same, same config we just talked about. So that's the zip around wristlets. And I apologize if I'm going too fast, but there's a whole bunch of wallets in here to go through. So the next one, what is this called? It's a RFID double Gallatin, I don't know. It's leather, it's a nice suede leather. Oh, it's a gorgeous wallet. It has some give to it because it's like worn in. I bought the tote and this wallet, both, both pieces for myself and also for my sister-in-law who trains horses and whatnot. Shh, don't tell her, she doesn't know yet. Anyway, so this is just beautiful tan leather suede. Inside it has these pretty roses. So going from front to back, we have the leather tab on the front with a nice studded leather. You've got a big slip and then two card slots on each side, so four big open pocket and there's a clear ID on this side. It's top entry so you can get in and out of it with that easy access slot. Then you have a skinny skinny slip between these two layers. They kind of sit very close together but it's a divider nonetheless. And then behind that you have another big slot. You have a zippered section for your coins. Another big slot and then two more card slots with a big slip behind it. So it's a lot like the double accordion wristlet wallet. Um, but anyway, slightly different name to it, but you get the idea. And then on the back, there is a big slip on the outside. So really, really nice wallet and just great feel to it. So if you want to load that sucker up, it just, it opens up really nicely. You can access all of the interior sections. You can see everything so nothing's hiding. I just, I really like the look and feel of this wallet. Yeah, anyway. So, lingered on that a little too long, but it came with a leather dust cover as well. Next up, we have several pouch type wristlets. There's your straw beach one in fan flowers. I just had to get with this adorable little whale. It goes with the tote and towel that I got in the same. And I actually have the water bottle. The next one is the pouch wristlet in classic navy. This is the velvet material, which I absolutely fell in love with, even though I was late to the game. These ones do have the wristlet straps as part, it's connected to the zipper, so it's a separate zipper pull, which just allows you to be able to take off the wristlet strap and still have your zipper pull for your pouch. So probably that's how I would mostly use it, but the zipper does have a separate ring for it, so it theoretically doesn't really interfere with each other, although it kind of does. But Inside of this, you have a zippered pocket and then on the front side, you have just a big slip pocket. So nothing fancy, it's pretty simple, but it is a nice patterned nylon interior and super, super soft outside. On the back, there's of course a zippered section. And just curiously, yeah, it fits in there, but I would probably not store it there just because it's a little difficult to get in and out. But it definitely would fit and is usable for that. I think it's just a classy little thing. Next is Midtown, and these aren't necessarily designed to be your wristlet per se. You can, you can carry them together. I tend to use them as like a cosmetic pouch or you know trinket pouch when traveling, but they are water resistant, so they're great for that. And you can take one or both. So you've got one wristlet right there with your strap, or you can switch it up and take the other one by itself. And the strap coincidentally matches both just fine. So this should make down. Inside, it does have just a rose-colored nylon. There's no organization, it's just an open pouch. 
They just have a nice feel to them when you, I had like all sorts of random things stored in there. And this one inside is actually a different coordinating interior. So both very plain and simple, but very, very useful for wristlets. I like things that can be used for more than one function, in case you couldn't tell. All right, next one, I think this is called the Ultimate Card Case. It has, let me count these slots, kind of awkward. So you have that tab over to hold the cards in. You've got Clear ID, and then one, two, three, four, five, six more card slots, and they're the overlapping angle to each other so you can access the different cards. No slip behind it, it looks like there is, but there's not. And then just the strap over to hold the cards from just falling out since they're on the outside of the wallet. On the back, or which is actually the front according to the tag, you have a nice big slip. And then the main section has got a big, big slip on the side. Don't mind the uh, foam spacer there, just a big open spot. So great grab and go wallet, or whatever you wanna call it, so card case. These other two are the same type of thing, except the outlet versions. So this was Pretty Posies, and then you've got Bandana Swirl and Batic Leaves. And these ones do not have the easy access thumb, but you do have Clear Plus one, two, three, four, five, six. You have the same idea. You have the snap that goes above it. Keep the card safe. You've also got a big slip behind it on the outside and the main pouch is zippered and just plain inside one big pocket. So the big difference on these being one is the width or depth, if you will. This one just has like a down to sewn edge. This one's kind of a more rounded edge. I don't think that really matters. I think they really would hold about the same amount of stuff in them when you got right down to it, cards and otherwise. So those are very useful and you can use them as a wallet within another purse or take them by themselves. Next up we have the Audrey in Bramble pattern. Again, I think this is gonna match really nicely with that Gluxinia purple with all these colors here. And in pictures, this tends to look like a dark pattern. Even though it is a dark background, it is actually kind of a vibrant pattern. And I like it a lot. It has one big flop top. And inside it, there's two, three, four, five, six slips plus the clear ID and the easy access window. I know it's hard to see on the dark colors. It is a coordinating interior pattern in nylon. And the Audrey, if you're not familiar, has a big slip in the back with two, four card slots, two here and two here. Then it has big open section in the middle and another six card slots on this side, three on each side. And then the front edge is your coin slot or big zip pocket. And inside is just one big pocket. So your zipper there. The phone actually does fit inside of this. So if you just wanted to carry the wallet with your phone in it, you could absolutely do that inside. And it's not closed, no problem, nice and secure. Or you could also just have your wallet and then put your phone on the outside, fits nicely um, inside there. Of course, then it has a risk of coming out, but it fits very easily either way. And although it's not a wristlet, you certainly could carry it like a clutch if you wanted. Um, but there you go, the Audrey. Okay, and last but not least, we have three, two different styles, three of the front zip wristlets, and I'm not sure what this one is called. It's just a classic black from the outlet. It's a cute little wristlet, the phone fits nicely. It has three card slots on this side. I know you can't see them very well, but right up the middle. And then one big open pocket. It does also have the front zip. And the phone does fit but not zip in that front pocket, which I wouldn't do. Plus it's hard to get in and out but fits very, very easily into the back pocket. So I use this mostly, I use this on cruises when I'm like wearing nicer clothes for the evening and I don't wanna be have my zip ID and lanyard on my neck. I can take this, take my little wallet stuff and still have my phone handy. If I'm in a dress, there's no pockets, that kind of thing. 
And then the front zip wristlets, this one's Concerto. It has a zipper on the front, guess what? Just like the name. And the phone, mm, no, doesn't quite fit in there. The main zipper, just across the top and just around the corner and stops right there, has six card slots on the front side and a big slip in the back. So mostly just a big open area and the phone fits very nicely, very easily into there. And so your front zip wristlet, there you have it. So we have that same one in Concerto. Lilac Tapestry and Elderberry. And Elderberry does have pop of color on the inside, which actually does allow you to see, sorry, silica gel. You can see the pockets alternating the three slots there on each side and the one big here. So that is your random odds and ends, wallets and wristlets part four. I hope that wasn't too much to take in. There's a lot of variety within all of that. Definitely different patterns, materials, sizes, shapes, configurations, and just an idea of what's out there. And guess what? That's not even all of it. There's a lot to choose from. Um, next video will probably be either coin purses or zip IDs, but both are queued up and ready to go. And thanks for watching. That's all for this one. Bye for now.